Yo, what up? My name is Derek, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys and talk about how to lower your ping in any game that you play, but specifically in Valorant. Um, so first of all, uh, a lot of people probably have seen my videos before, and I've talked about Exileg, and I've talked about um, Cloudflare. Um, Cloudflare, as uh, some of you have said, it does cause some problems, such as higher ping at some points, and I have noticed that. And uh, But you have to understand, it is pretty much a free type of um, program if you refer your friends and stuff like that and when you do um, figure out ways to if you watch my videos on how to get it for free you also can um, get a little bit more for free and you don't have to pay anything you don't have to pay the $5 that they say there so in today's video I'm going to talk about some premium options that do have free trials that you can try out to see if it does improve your ping um, I've used these before in the past and they've always worked for me I've never had problems with them so I recommend using them and another thing to keep in mind too is with one of these you can actually have it with your router so if you get a specific router you actually do get a couple years or maybe even forever you do have access to the gaming private network is what they call it and uh, yeah, let's get into this. So first of all, the first program that I'm going to talk about is Exileg. Now you've seen my videos before. I've talked about Exileg and how good it actually is. Um, and I actually have some free trial type of guides as well, but they don't really work anymore. But I'm going to talk about these in here. So first of all, when you get on Exileg.com, just sign up. You get the free day, the three day free trial if you've never did, uh, tried it before. And you can even check their list, the full list of whatever. It shows you what they've done or how they uh, lower your ping and some more. Um, stuff like how it works and whatever you can look that out look that up if you want um, but yeah that's pretty much it now if we go to pricing the pricing is 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 not too bad as you can see you get three days three days for free and then um, once you want to pay a little bit more extra you can see you pay 650 um, if you want it monthly you pay 650 if you want to pay it semi-annually which would be every like I think three months um, it would you would pay um, or no twice a month or whatever uh, you would pay it or six times a month it says right here that you would pay five dollars and eighty three cents and then if you want to pay a little bit more like only quarterly which is every three months is six seventeen so depending on how if you really want to use this a lot you can pay whatever you want to use um, if you really want to lower a ping your ping's pretty bad and you try out exit leg um, I would try. Uh, maybe pay for a month and, and see if you really use it a lot. If you do, then I'd try bumping maybe it up to three or six months, um, however you want to do it. Um, but I would recommend exit like if you do have problems with low ping. Um, but anyways, once you've had your free trial or once you're using it, you can actually just download it once you sign in. And once it's downloading, you'll have, once it's downloaded, you have to reset your computer and the login. And then what it will do is it will analyze all the routes for you. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to tools first because this is kind of important. There's some settings in here that are kind of important. So when it comes to this stuff right here, this is all personal preference up here. When it comes to the accurate route optimizations, keep this high protocol, keep this on I ICMP. It's one of the newer ones and one of the better ones. Um, you can test around with the real-time optimizations and smart optimizations if you want to. Um, if you do have uh, terrible bandwidth or not the greatest bandwidth, I'd recommend enabling high QoS priority, which will mean your um, computer will have more priority over other computers or other devices on the network. Uh, FPS boost, um, you can pretty much turn all of these on if you want to notice a boost. Now, if you use, if you've watched my videos before, we talk about custom ISOs, so these should already be disabled if you do. Um, have a custom ISO or you follow one of my guides um, but if you ha if you don't use a custom ISO you just use, use straight windows then I'd recommend uh, monkeying with a couple of these settings and trying some of the settings um, traffic shaper I wouldn't recommend any doing any of this stuff multi-network if you have multiple network interfaces then then maybe this is um, use useful but I wouldn't use it and this you can actually test out your ping so if you turn this on you can actually see um, the ping that you get to specific servers. So you can see Cloudflare, I get three to four ping. Azure, I get about 11. And then Google, I get about 12. Um, so you can test that if you want, and you can even request for a new game if you want to do that as well. But let's get into the actual game. So Valorant is the one we're going to be using today. And so for in Valorant, you can choose from any server that they are allowed, that you're allowed to actually um, connect to. Um, sometimes you get some more hidden servers and you do get more options of choosing your servers because if you go into the actual game you can choose which servers you want to actually play or and use in this you get to choose exactly which server you get to want to play so for like for for uh, central you might have ash or you might have chicago but you can see there's a chicago one two and three 
right? So for me, I'd want to choose one of these Chicago ones. Now, it automatically chooses the TCP, UDP, and the ICMP routes. So what I would recommend doing is just leaving that default, whatever exit lag sets it at. Um, but down here, this is kind of the number you're looking for, the estimated ping. Now you can see my estimated ping is about 10 on Chicago 1, Chicago 2, and Chicago 3 is all about 10. Ashburn's about 27 throughout there. Dallas is about that. Los Angeles, and so on and so forth. So for me, I keep it on Chicago. And a couple other things to keep in mind too is make sure you turn on redirect login information, and then you can turn this on if you want to. Um, this is really up to you. So for me, I, don't, I probably won't need to turn this on. Um, and then you can do apply routes. And what this is going to do, it's going to apply the routes to your computer and to the game so that whenever you open up Valorant, it's going to automatically go through exit lag and go straight to the server. Um, if you want to press optimize as well, this will also pick... Um, this will help you get better routes and kind of redo the whole process of the ping situation. And if you want to just have automatic, you can also just do automatic. It'll do the best it's ca it can to actually find the best server, depending on what server you're connecting to. But that is pretty much exit lag. Um, now I'm going to talk about another program called WT Fast. Now WT Fast pretty much does the exact same thing that exit lag, exit lag does now. With WT Fast, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, or even really right here, it says trusted by leading partners, and you can see ASUS, Gigabit, MSI, and so on and so forth. They're all partners with WT Fast. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we can actually click on, if we go to the actual like um, website, and we scroll all the way to the bottom, we can actually see the router that they're used. Now, unfortunately, I'm not able to find them right now, but in, in an area over here, you can see the routers so right here. If we click on routers, we can actually see what routers are actually being used um, that are actually allowed to have WT Fast implemented into them. So you can see it's powered with WT Fast. It's actually implemented into the router, as you can see right here. And you pretty much get a premium subscription forever as long as you have the router. And you can see these are all the routers that you're allowed to have, especially with, with ASUS. And you can see some other stuff as well. Um, but now let's talk about the pricing that comes with uh, WT Fast. Um, so WT Fast is ten nine or nine ninety nine um, for monthly eight nine nine eighty four nine forty nine um, for three months and then twelve months it is eight thirty three. Um, you can see some stuff that they have when it comes to offering, and you can see a little, it is a little bit more expensive than Exalag. Um, but keep in mind that I would recommend if you have a terrible router or you haven't bought a router or maybe you're looking for a router, um, what I would recommend you do is just buy a router with WT Fast implemented into it. Uh, what I will do is I will just link all of the routers that have WT Fast implemented into them in the description of this video if you want to check those out. Um, but I would recommend WT Fast, either the subscription base just without the router situation or get a router that has WT Fast implemented into it so you can use it then. But now let's talk about the actual program so if we go to the wt fast program right here i'm gonna double click it and right here it's gonna open up now this will ask you to log in as well so just log in now once you get in it gets it gets, it gets a little confusing so there's a lot of games on here the interface isn't the greatest i would say exit like has a wins in that department but you can sort by um the uh, the, the letter of the game so for me it's valorant so i want to do v but what we're going to do before we actually click on valorant what we want to do is we want to go to the um Click the click this up here and pick server. Now, once you have picked or once you're in this area, what you can do is you can just pick a server. Now you can see there's a ton of servers in here. Now, most likely you're in the US. So you just want to do like Pacific or Eastern or Central or whatever you wherever you live, you want to set that up. Um, but for me, I'm going to do sort by ping. What this is going to do is this is going to sort all of the servers by the ping that I get to that specific server. Now, keep in mind this is this is ping from your house to the server and then also keep in mind there's also going to be a ping difference when it comes to the server and then to the actual server of the game you're playing so for me you can see uh, i live in minnesota so minnetonka minnesota is going to be ping 2 which is the lowest and you can see chicago is really low as well so if i were to click on this one i can do this and press on connect here and this is going to connect it so that every time valorant opens up and it connects it's going to wait for um, Valorant to open up right here, but once I open up Valorant, it will automatically connect through the server and it will show up in here and it will show you the statistics um, of the server. And uh, you can see it's already opened up Valorant for me right now. Um, I'm going to show you the ping that we get once we get once we log into our Valorant here. 
Now you can see we're we are in Valorant. And if I go to the ping settings, you can see that we're at 15. Now I'm always at 15, but do keep in mind that it's not connected until you actually get into a server. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the shooting range and I'm gonna show you that the ping is lower. Now usually in the shooting range, it's the same ping that it says in that setting bar, which is about 14, 15. Now I have fiber, so if the number doesn't change much, then it's not gonna really change it, change that much. But for you, it might change drastically depending on what you use. Um, if you have DSL, if you have cable, if you have anything like uh, wireless and stuff like that, it's gonna, you're gonna notice a difference. Now my ping is lower about by like two pings, so not by a lot, um, but it's still lower than what it usually is. So keep that in mind that I'm still losing, I'm getting a little bit lo less ping, um, but I would recommend trying this out for you, right? You're gonna get different results than I'm gonna get than my results, so just keep that in mind. Um, but anyways, I hope this helped you. I hope um, you're gonna lower your ping and uh, I'd recommend whichever one you want to try. Um, for me, I think X Leg is a better option than WT Fast, but that's really up to you and how you want to figure that out. Figure that out. Um, like I said, I think if you have a good router, if you have a router that has WT Fast implemented into it, just use it. Right? If you have, if you don't have any of that stuff, then I'd recommend just X Leg. X Leg. It's the best option. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video and peace out.